Welcome to Pocket Tutorials. Hello and welcome back into another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to go ahead and learn about the file menu in Canva. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and click onto this file menu. Now you have over here your paragraph text. Actually, that's the heading or that's the name of my design over here. If I want to go ahead and I want to change this name, all I have to do is just click onto this pencil icon and I can go ahead and change this name. Demo design. Now it shows me what are the dimensions of this demo design. This design is basically 42 centimeter, 9.4 cm. From here itself, I can go ahead and I can click on to this create a new design button and I can choose the design which I want to go ahead and we'll come back to this section at the last because this is basically connected with the print industry. Now the next one that I have over here is find and replace text. So I'll just go ahead and I'll click onto this. This basically works in the same fashion how you do it in Google Docs, Slides or Microsoft Word. In this scenario, I'm going to type in the word text and replace the same with the word words and click onto this replace button. It was earlier my paragraph text, now it has been changed to my paragraph word. The next thing that you have over here is save. It's all changes are saved. You can have a look at this tick over here. Next, you can go ahead and you can try this save to folder. If you have folders in Canva, you can go ahead and you can choose a folder wherever you want to save this design and click onto the save. It gives you an information that your design has been saved. Now, the next one that you have over here is view all comments. Now this is basically similar to the comments which you have in your excel sheet or in your google slides and google sheet. So you can see all the comments over here which are not resolved and you can see all the comments over here which are resolved. Right now I don't have any comments over here. Now the next one I have over here is a virgin history. This is similar to the version history which you see in your Google Docs, in your Google Sheets. And next, you can go ahead and you can make a copy of this. So the same design, you went ahead and you made a copy. You can actually use this when you are doing a light theme and a dark theme. So right now, I can just go ahead and I can change this color over here. Now this becomes my light theme. And this over here becomes my dark theme. Now the next thing that I have over here is go ahead and click onto this download button. You can select whatever you want to and you can download your design. Now we have this option over here open in desktop app. This is basically if you have downloaded Canva. You can go ahead and use this option. Now the next thing that we have over here is show rulers and guides. You can just go ahead and you can click onto this. You can see over here these are the rulers. You can just click and drag a vertical ruler. Likewise you can just go ahead and you can click and drag a horizontal ruler. So right now you can see that you know the blue label onto your left hand side. This actually shows you the exact position at which you are placing your horizontal ruler. Now you can see these dotted lines over here. This is basically your margin. And inside the margin, you can just go ahead and place your important elements. Lastly, we have the show print bleed. Click onto it. Now you can see the second dotted lines over here. This is your bleed area. Right now, I'm on to Canva and help. You have these margin bleed crop marks over here. You can go ahead and you can see over here margins basically important design elements shouldn't be cut when printed. 
So that is why you should place them inside the margins. Next we have over here rulers. So rulers are basically used for alignment and for dimensions. Next we have the bleed over here. Avoid white gaps when printing to the edge of the paper or card. They have also shown an example over here. You can see this. This is perfect. And this is not perfect because when printed, you can see these wide gaps. And lastly, we have the crop marks. This is basically for printing. You should know where to trim the paper. So you insert crop marks as well. So that's all for this lecture. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Congratulations on completing another lecture. If you do like this course, please leave a review. Helps us to improvise the course. Thank you so much.